Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? My name is Ash. I am a makeup artist and a book lover. I have the bad case of the stripes and let's just get into it. So for today's video, I am tackling this look, which I've seen floating around on the internet. I'll be honest though, I have never read this book. Don't know what it's about. I thought that was kind of cute though with all the stripes. I am praying that this does not stain me. If it does, it does. At least I'm off work for a couple days. I can get my skin under control. So if you're interested to see how all this came together, you just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, I'm just gonna jump into this. I am praying that this doesn't stay me too bad. Putting my wig thing on first though. I'm gonna pull up that photo. So it goes red, yellow, green, blue, orange, blue, purple, purple, orange, purple. And I think it repeats. Obviously I don't have the right sweater for this, but I didn't plan on doing this look. I just decided to do it and I'm gonna wing it. I am gonna try a little hack that I saw because I'm not gonna cover my brows, but I am gonna make them skinnier. And I saw that you put lash glue in your brows, which sounds like a horrible idea, not gonna lie. But you put this in and then you take a pair of tweezers and you're supposed to pinch and it makes them smaller, like 90s brow style. So yeah, my tweezers and I don't know, I probably should have waited for this to dry a little bit, but it seems to be working. Oh yeah, once it's dry, it's working a little bit better. Oh, this is so weird. Those are definitely skinnier brows. Okay, so I'm going to trace out the lines with my brow pencil and I wanted to try to be as straight as possible. That line definitely is not straight. I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. It's just a rough estimate. And then I'm gonna do my neck. I don't really wanna get paint on my sweater, but you know, if I do, I do. I gotta do laundry anyway. Here's what I'm gonna do, just so I don't forget. So it's gonna go red, yellow, red, yellow, yellow, green, blue, blue, orange, purple. So I'm going to attempt to paint this on, which I'm using the Athena palette, which I know this red is going to stain. That's why I am going to immediately jump in the shower once I'm done with this video. But I also am going to try to set this with the blends palette. We'll see how that goes. I am working with limited brushes. Starting with the red, I'm just gonna take a brush and just really load that up. I really didn't wanna get this in my hair, but I think that's inevitable. Yeah, I will be throwing on a wig. I just don't know how well it's going to all work together. I'm hoping I can make a straighter line because it doesn't look like these lines are blended. So I'm hoping I can get away with uh, just getting as close as I can. Yellow. I wish these pans were just a tiny bit bigger. It would make getting a brush in here much easier. I'm gonna switch over to a, technically this is a highlighter brush, but it's going to work pretty good at getting kind of a crisper line. Honestly, this would probably be much easier with a water activated paint, but I do not own any that would uh, allow me to do this. So I am guessing that I really need to invest in Mayron. I guess if it's a little smeared over here, it's okay because I think the wig is going to cover most of my neck. At least it should. Going in with green now. Life itself is only a vision, a dream. Nothing exists save empty space and you. And you. 
mean, I do like this paint palette, but I just think that water activated paint might be easier to use, but this is handy. I will have to come back to the green around my eyes because it's looking very, very patchy. The thing with this, I'm finding it looks a little patchy. I think that's just because of how the pigmentation is. I'm gonna try to do the blue now. Okay, it's not looking too bad. That's actually a really good blue. I really don't want to do this, but can't say I don't do anything for you two. It's fine if it's on the inside and on the side. Like, man, I really don't have a lot of brush options today. This one barely has any contour on it, so it'll work. I just wonder if this would be better if I dug out the cream and then blended it directly on my face. That might have been a better idea. Almost done with the paint, I think. And I just need to set all of this. But so far, it's not bad, it's not bad. It does look like the lips are a slightly different color. I need to fix this green because it is so patchy. Yellow is pretty patchy too, but I think it'll look fine once I get um, some shadow on it. But this green just needs a little finessing. Even though you are a worthless greedy I think I'm gonna call it quits on the paint and just move on to like the eyeshadow and hopefully that'll help even out some of this. Obviously, I'm just gonna go in rainbow. So self love for the red, remedy for the green, serendipity for the yellow, maybe a little bit of wildflower, barley for the orange, signs for the purple, and then I'll use either bubble bath or dream for the blue. Yeah. And right, starting with self love, just gonna start Patting that all across. Yeah, this is looking better with the pigment on top. A lot of the red, red pigment is not coming off, so I'm gonna go into the next best thing, which is gonna be the purple, because red and purple go together. And I'm just gonna, like I said, go in with signs. I'm gonna mix signs and giggle. Maybe just giggle? Yeah, just giggle. Signs is a little bit too dark. I feel like I look so funny. Okay. I go in, like I said, serendipity for the yellow and a little bit of wildflower. I don't know why I can't say that wildflower. I should have went in with a smaller brush with this. Oh well. This must be such a boring video for you. I'm just literally painting myself. My apologies. I'm gonna do the blue now. save the green for last just because I gotta do some really close work around my eyes. Orange is next. The green is gonna be stupid. I will make do. First I need to 
kind of pat out my lid. And that might be too dark of a green. I'll do the same to this eye and then I'll figure out a different shade. Okay, this is not turning out the best. And this eye wants to water, love that. I'm gonna try to set this green with this inside joke. Maybe that one won't be too dark or won't pull it too dark. Oh yeah, that will work. I'm not wonder if like a powder puff would work with setting this. I'm only so mad if this works. Well, it doesn't suck. Actually, it's working pretty good. Good enough. This eye is gonna make me so angry tonight. Power through it. I'm gonna go in with a green liner in my waterline. This is from LEJ Beauty. I'll have to figure out something on that side, but ooh. I don't love this. <laughs> I don't love this. Hopefully once I get like the wig on, it will look fine. And go in with uh, just a liquid liner and I am gonna do my brows, which are just gonna be very thin, thin black brows. I'm also gonna do a line cause I'm gonna put on lashes, I think, like a baby wing. I'm gonna put, I did a black line under my eye and I'm gonna go in, that's not white. I'm gonna go in with a white liner and just kinda highlight this area. This is just from Beauty Creations. This watery eye is gonna be the bane of my existence. I'm gonna go in with this pair of lashes from AF94. These are the Lash 08. They are like purple. I like green and purple together, and I think I just want a really fluffy lash. I'm just gonna be using my Kiss Lash Glue, which is my all-time favorite lash glue. I'm starting to think that this video should have been a voiceover because I am barely talking. Right. And mascara is gonna be my Rare Beauty one. I think by the time Halloween is over, I will have used this mascara up completely. I think I'm gonna do mascara smudges just to kinda hide what's going on, but you gotta think, if you're sick, you're going to have like teary eyes anyway. At least when I'm sick, like, I'm just miserable. Oh yeah, that's a cute lash. It's like one of my new favorite pair of lashes that I've tried. That is such a fun lash, I love it. And do bottom mascara. Just some mascara smudges just on, just on the corner. That made my eye water even more. Cool, cool. I do feel like the lips look, I don't know, a little different. I'm gonna actually take Enigma and put that on my lips. Maybe that will give it the right shade. I think that kind of works. Just really gonna blend that. I think that I am going to call this quits. I am going to go throw my wig, hope I don't get paint on anything, and I'll be back to show you the completed look. I would say that I would use a thermometer for this look, but the only one I have is like the, um, the scanner one that I got when I had COVID. So I'm gonna go grab my wig, and I'll be back to show you the finished look, but it's interesting. It's interesting. All right, here is the finished look. And I gotta say, I think with the wig, it looks a lot better, but I don't feel very cute in this. I don't know how I feel about this. You'll have to let me know what you think of it. I do think I could have done this better if I had water activated paints, which definitely for next Halloween season, I will have those in my little grubby little hands. But I think for what it is, I didn't do too bad of a job. I do not have a pink bow. I don't think I technically own any bows. So I just have these clips from ColourPop when they did their Powerpuff collab and they're pink. So I thought it, it's fitting. And this wig is from Amazon. You know what? I think I really like this. I think I do. It's fun. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to wash off. So let me know what you think of it. And I'm gonna zoom you out to wrap up this video. I really hope that photos come out well for this, especially since my eye is like super watery. But this is the look. I'm just gonna wrap this up because I need to go wash this off. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I am putting out a video every day this month for 31 days of Halloween. And if you want, you can follow me on my other socials. I'm Artistry X Ash everywhere. And if you want some book content, I am Ashley with two H's that reads on TikTok and Instagram. I will let you know in the description box if this stains me. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Stay spooky and I'll see you all tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye!